All right, on to our weekly feature of Smart Farm. And researchers in the country are aggressively pushing for the adoption of high-yielding varieties of rice that can withstand the effects of climate change. Now, upland rice is touted as one of the rice varieties that can do well in not so favorable conditions in the country, making it a key grain in boosting food security. Very own Dennis Ochino was in Meru County and brings us more on this week's Smart Farm. A green revolution is slowly taking place in some eastern counties as farmers adopt a type of rice that doesn't require flooded water. Here's how. Rice is commonly known as a wetland crop. But in this farm at Koi village in Matungu ward, Meru County, someone by and his fellow farmers have embraced upland rice, a variety that thrives away from paddy fields. <laughs> Kilimo Trust, a not-for-profit organization, has teamed up with Calro and other partners to promote the cultivation of upland rice. We have uh, a very big issue of climate change because of uh, greenhouse gas emissions that cause uh, uh, global warming and hence climate change. So therefore, we want really as much as possible to move away rice production away from the wetlands and promote upland rice, which has uh, very minimal levels of greenhouse gas emissions and therefore uh, global warming. Uh, the other thing that we want to promote under this particular program on uh, regenerative rice value chain that is uh, funded by the IKEA Foundation of the Netherlands is to ensure that uh, uh, rice production practices have become sustainable, to ensure that water efficiency is, uh, is attained and uh, we reduce uh, emission of greenhouse gases, particularly methane. To the same to the panda mchele upright rice, you to own the Vautina I Michele in Gine, a laugh then to Kaona I Michele upright rice, him Suri Sababuai to me in Dawa. As I in a to Pungusi and Karamaya Maji, Sababuakuna Mari to the Chimbua to Fungia Maji, now when you want a panda, Akuna Mazara Watapata Sababu or Pandi Wakiwa and Dania Maji. Grown on well-drained soils rather than flooded rice paddies, germination of this variety takes less than 14 days. The crop then takes between three and four months to mature. This rice variety is drought tolerant and has a slightly lower production cost compared to lowland or paddy rice, making it a potential solution to Kenya's food security problem. One of the characteristics of this rice is that, uh, first of all, it is, uh, uh, the yields are good. Secondly, it is drought resistant. It is early maturing. It requires uh, very minimal uh, rains and uh, the yields are very good because uh, some farmers can get as, uh, as much as uh, over five metric tons of, uh, of rice from an acre. Uh, basically, the weather conditions that you require to grow this type of rice are uh, warm climate from midlands to the lowlands where we are right now, where we call the cotton zone. So anywhere from the midlands where you can do coffee all the way to the cotton zone, uh, this particular type of rice does very well. So anywhere where you can grow coffee, particularly in the Midlands and the Lowlands, this is very well suited. Designed to thrive under rain-fed conditions, the adoption of upland rice has helped increase the income of small-scale farmers and promote sustainable agricultural practices. Namba <laughs> Tumbeg, mwe kinyasa kawa indayake, na inasaidi, yata itaji maji. 
The upland rice can also be intercropped with other plants, making it suitable for small-scale rice farming. So far, more than 800 farmers have adopted the upland rice variety. The annual rice consumption in Kenya is estimated to be over 1 million metric tons. However, production capacity is roughly at 230,000 metric tons. Upland rice, therefore, offers that sustainable future, not just for the country's agricultural sector, but also small-scale farmers who make a bulk of this 